Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for May 6th, 2021. Well, yesterday, did we or did we not have quite a wild day? But the good news is that we finally breached this log jam, at least in the Dow. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we grab ourselves something to drink? Let's settle in, buckle up, and get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So good morning, everyone. As we enter this Thursday, we have a big day of data coming our way, and we have um, a market that is giving us a little bit of two-sidedness here. So let's take a look at these technicals, see if we can get any information um, out of these charts on how we might want to approach the market for today. First off, yesterday I warned about the possibility of a pop and drop, and boy did we get it. We, we gapped up in the morning, gapped up in the morning, gave it all back, even dropped to a new low, and then reversed and whipsawed again back to the upside of the, as those bulls came in. So this morning, we have to also keep in mind that that is certainly possible as we're trying to push up the market here in the pre, pre-market, but we're already seeing a little bit of volatility um, around that attempt. So currently Dow futures are showing up 26, 27 points, but they've been at up more than 50. Um, just kind of bouncing around here with a big day of earnings ahead of us. Let's take a look at the price action of the chart and our current trends. If we were to mark out current trend, I've been marking it here, and I think that is still fairly accurate on the trend. And let's keep in mind that um, this trend still has that possibility that we may wind our way over to that trend staying in that consolidation now right when i released that um, arrow i ended up moving it just a little bit so keep in mind that we could still have a significant period of time here that we could still drift into this consolidation now we broke through and we briefly set a new record high but we weren't able to hold it if you notice right here our high of the day that day was 342.43 and over here we briefly popped up above that 343.30 but we ended up closing at 342.62 so just barely holding on to that new record high in the Dow however we saw just as soon as the market closed boy the headlines went out hey new record highs so <laughs> a lot of uh, a lot of energy in that now let's keep in mind that we can push on higher we have a pretty good level of price support in here in the chart and if we can gain enough energy here we certainly could use this as a launching point for more record highs but we also want to kind of keep in mind that we have quite a bit of data coming our way and that possibility that volatility could push us right back down into this area so just keep a close eye here on um, that chart and the reason i say that is if we take a look at the spy our spy is very heavily tech laden about 40 percent of the spy is consumed by seven big tech companies and we all know their names and we've been seeing them struggle around here just a little bit even though they produced blowout earnings reports so yesterday while the dow managed to find a way to hit a new record high let's notice that the nasdaq actually pulled back and closed slightly lower let's look at that carefully slightly lower than we would have liked to have seen on the day it was um, some pressure um, still coming in on that spy as we saw um, some of those tech stocks try to bounce up but they just weren't holding on to that energy so we have this little teeny tiny downtrend that is um, in play here and we have this price support in here that we'll have to keep an eye on now you can see this morning we've got a little bit of a sideways drift coming in the pre-market we're just trying to we're just trying so hard to find some inspiration to do something here but we continue to languish in this really wide-ranging choppy 
uh, consolidation of the spy. And unless we can get those big techs moving, it's going to be really difficult for the spy to break through um, this um, log jam that we have been in for about three weeks now. So let's take a look at the queues. Now the QQQ, well, the QQQ shows us the problem. Overall, as the NASDAQ continues to pull back, and as a matter of fact, we closed lower on the day um, yesterday than the prior, and we are pushing just a little bit sideways here today, but near those lows. So keep in mind the NASDAQ still has some technical issues here to deal with. We have that double top high that failed this price support in the chart. And now, even if we rally back up, we're going to have to deal with that price level as resistance and that possibility that we could rally back into this and fail. Now, I mentioned yesterday that we came very, very close to the 50-day moving average in the NASDAQ. And I got to tell you, honestly, I am going to be very, very surprised if we don't, in the very near future, test that 50-day moving average as support. So don't be too surprised if that NASDAQ continues to weigh us down down here um, in the market. Let's take a look at IWM. Now IWM also found a little bit more selling than the day before, uh, pushing us back down. We didn't go below the lows, but we ended up closing lower than the day before. And let's keep in mind that we have this technical problem going on in this chart as well, where we have this downtrend and we broke this price support in the chart that will serve as a resistance level as we try to rally back up. But we do have the bullish side of this chart as well and that is that we held on to this little uptrend so we could be in that pattern here where this wedge just continues to be formed in that choppiness that we've seen lately in the market now of course we certainly have that possibility if the bears can garner some uh, some energy in here we could drop down below that trend and then we start running into more technical problems here in the Russell. What was interesting um, yesterday is even as we were showing that weakness, we saw a really good surge in um, um, the energy sector um, yesterday. Um, oil sector um, oil numbers came in uh, well below expectations, and um, we saw a good surge in energy. And we also saw the financial sector hold up nicely yesterday overall. So it was kind of interesting that. Um, we continue to see that IWM suffer and push lower as those small caps um, just seem to be running into some pressure. We, we're just not garnering enough energy to continue to push them higher, at least at the moment. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now the VIX, doggone thing, um, just won't give us a break here. Um, still quite a little bit of uncertainty. Let's notice in this price action here, we've got higher lows that have been coming into play here on the VIX. We saw a, a brief um, but scary um, sell-off yesterday that pushed us above this resistance level in the chart. Whoops, I got to get a new mouse. Um, so as you can see, pushed us above that resistance level in the new chart and kind of created a little bit of worry there for a bit. But by the end of the day, we saw those bulls rally back, pushing us back down below that level. But notice that we have formed this wedge pattern in here, and we're trying to decide, um, are we going to actually uh, find enough fear or energy to break us back through, or will we um, finally calm down a little bit and uh, begin to break this back down? So Dow set new record highs, and we've got the VIX going up. Hmm. Things that make you say, hmm, a little bit confusing there, so watch that closely. Um, we do have the good side of this as well, and that is so far we haven't been able to break that downtrend um, that's showing in the VIX. 
but it's certainly showing us a lot of uncertainty. Then if we take a look at our T2122, our T2122 is the four week new high, new low ratio. And you can see it, it's not really telling us a whole lot here. It's not really giving us um, a directional bias here in the market. Um, remember T2122 doesn't do that. It just tells us when we've kind of over baked the market or under baked it in a sell-off. So watch this close here. We have plenty of upside room to uh, move on up if we can find that inspiration to push on through. But we do have to remember those resistance levels in the SPY, the, the QQQ, and IWM could be a little bit uh, pesky um, uh, for those bulls to try and breach. Then um, we have that big downside area that could still be opened up if we find inspiration for those bears. So watch that carefully. Then if we take a look at that T2101, I got to tell you guys, T2101 is a real head scratcher. We set new record highs yesterday in the Dow, obviously, and we continue to see T21 T2101, uh, the uh, absolute market breadth decline. We're just not getting the energy that we should be experiencing in this market as we continue to hold up. The momentum just isn't there. And if we look at this overall, we've been in this downtrending move here on T2101. We just can't seem to get that going. Hopefully that will change soon. Notice we're down here testing these lows again that we've been setting for some time. Um, so maybe we get a bounce off of that. Um, watch closely. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now, our economic calendar, we've got a couple things that we're going to want to pay attention to. Um, most notable today is going to be the jobless claims that's just around the corner here. Prior to the market open, jobless claims will be coming out. We do have productivity and cost, but I doubt that's going to be um, uh, noticed much today. We have a whole bunch of Fed speakers uh, throughout the day. Uh, some bond auctions uh, that we should make note of. And then also we have the Fed balance sheet um, that just keeps growing um, at billions and billions and billions and billions of dollars as we keep printing debt. Um, um, but nobody seems to uh, mind about that too much. Let's take a look. Um, also, I think it's really, really important that we plan as we plan and um, reach that end of the day. Keep in mind, we've got this big employment situation number that will be coming uh, tomorrow morning. It is entirely possible that market becomes very light and choppy uh, today as we wait for that number. That's not an, an unusual thing. So just kind of keep that in mind for today. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Oh my goodness, we have a big earnings calendar today with nearly 375 companies on the calendar. Now there are a few of those that are unconfirmed reports, but we have a very big day of earnings reports and there's no way I can cover them all. I'm not even close to covering them all in this uh, morning report. So make sure you click that link just below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the morning blog where you can get that full list. Yeah, a few of them that we, I might want to point out here this morning, we're going to hear from like Allstate. Allstate has been in a beautiful upside trend, really, really strong. This will be reporting today. Keep an eye on that. We're going to hear from uh, Bud. But it looks like they have blown through their earnings report strongly here this morning, um, uh, moving up uh, sharply here. So keep an eye on Bud this morning, and that beverage industry might be um, something to watch today. Um, take a look at BDX. BDX reporting today it looks like some nasty volatility in that report, but it looks like it's resolving itself lower back down here testing this trend on BDX. Uh, keep a close eye on that. We're going to hear from Monster Beverage today. Monster will be reporting. We're going to hear from Iron Mountain. We'll want to keep an eye on that. Looks like they're trying to move higher this morning. We're going to hear from Peloton today. Ooh, Peloton. Pretty ugly move there in uh, Peloton. Uh, PZZA. We like our pizza. PZZA. Um, 
moving up here this morning, gonna test some price resistance in the chart. Keep an eye on that. We'll also hear from some old standards like Post. Post will be reporting today. We'll hear from Roku. Keep an eye on that. We're gonna hear from SQ. And um, last but not least, we're gonna hear from Trip. TripAdvisor will be reporting today. So lots of reports. Again, make sure you click that link um, below the title if you wanna catch that full list of possible notable reports. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these uh, videos. And I wanna make a, um, uh, I wanna tell everyone that for the first time in a 15, more than 15 years, my wife tells me, uh, we're actually going to take a vacation that's going to last five straight days. So next week, there will not be morning market prep videos. Starting May 10th through the rest of the week, there will not be morning market prep videos, but I will be right back. Now, even though there won't be morning market prep videos, I'm preparing some training videos that will be coming out on those days so watch for those um and i apologize hopefully um hopefully you won't um uh well hopefully you'll forgive me for taking a little bit of time off um by the way guys we are pushing toward 20,000 subscribers thank you so much you guys are awesome um i just can't say thank you enough i never would have guessed that there had been this much interest in this kind of content so thank you very much if you would like to help me reach that goal we could possibly even reach it today if you would take a link from one of the, your favorite videos and post it out there on your social media platform we may quickly reach that 20,000. thank you so much everyone for all of your support and thank you also for those folks that are utilizing the buy me a coffee link below the title of the video supporting the channel um, you will soon start seeing some um, different things on the channel as a result. So I truly, truly appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Let's take a look at the stock setting up and remember that there is no recommendation to buy or sell any security here. Um, but we're going to um, make sure you're doing your own due diligence, you're following your own rules in these trades and watch them very, very closely. A chart that I want to really keep an eye on here is um, X. Now X received a, a nice upgrade uh, just a couple of days ago and you can see X pushed up with that upgrade and broke through some resistance in the chart and um, now we're getting this little resting pullback. Now if this can rest out here toward this trend a little bit I don't even mind if it pulls all the way back into here but rest a little bit I'm going to be looking for an opportunity into steel. Um, steel, copper, very very strong right now and we'll want to keep an eye on that and x being such a low cost um, stock might be one that would be worth uh, keeping an eye on um, notice that we have plenty of upside potential if we can hold that support through here another chart that you're going to want to take a look at is stld um, steel dynamics i've been mentioning this one um, whoops uh, for a while and you can see um, I alerted down in here, but steel dynamics Pushing up beautifully breaking through resistance holding it as support continuing to move up Don't chase this trade, but wait for the next entry into the position steel holding up very uh, very strong you could also look at like um, Cleveland Cliffs and other steel companies out there that are setting up. Notice we push up through this resistance. We're resting right in here. If that rests out here toward the trend, and by the way, this trend may be clear out here now, so watch that. Um, but wait for that next entry into the trade. Looking pretty darn strong in steel. Take a look at FCX. FCX. Um, copper extremely strong and continues to perform over and over and over and over uh, copper looking really really good so any rest or pullback in here 
could set up um, an opportunity and of course look at other copper miners other other places because they're looking pretty good overall and um, with all the infrastructure and even just the EV vehicles that are being built we don't have near enough copper to um, to cover the supplies so or the the demand so watch that closely um, you might want to take a look at that energy sector now i picked up um, exxon mobil and i mentioned this the other day that i bought exxon mobil now this is a weekly chart and i want to sh point out that i have traded several of these longer term charts recently with tremendous results sometimes when the market is choppy like this whipping around it's easier it's better sometimes to pick up a little bit longer term type trade so i use weekly charts to do that look at this beautiful setup where we break the downtrend here in exxon mobile whoops we are breaking that downtrend here and holding it as support and now we're pushing on higher and exxon looking very very strong now i'm not looking for this to just go up forever um, um, as a matter of fact i sold the 65 strikes against it yesterday to hedge that trade um, but watch this closely um, I think there is that opportunity for some reasonable upside move here on ExxonMobil as energy continues to gain um, strength and that oil number yesterday helping to support that. So watch that closely. Then I think um, taking a look at um, that industrial sector, XLI, this is the weekly let's go to the daily look how strong this sector is on the industrial side and if you take a look at xli we can just pull up a list of everything that's in there take a look at cummins john deere um, caterpillar breaking out yesterday we have uh, jci johnson control showing lots of strength um, we've got granger really really strong here um, lately don't chase it we've got waste management lots of very very strong stocks in that sector take a look at that they're um, they're looking very very good I think we also want to take a look at like um, some of the consumer staple area that has been holding up very, very strongly. And notice that we've pushed back up. We had a little volatility here, no doubt about it. That little volatility in that chart uh, pushing us around, just a second, there we go, pushing us uh, back up and now we're resting right in here. This is one of those setups that I love to watch for where we push up in that possibility of that trend resumption coming into that chart. So some of the some of the stocks that would be included in there are stocks that everyone knows, like um, KHC. KHC, Kraft Heinz, pushing up. Notice that we're pushing against a little resistance level right in here, but very, very strong in this chart, looking good. How about um, Hershey? Hershey, beautiful upside move, really, really strong. Colgate Palmolive starting to set up that pattern to try and push through some resistance to the upside. I know these are old, boring, stodgy old companies, but doggone it, they are producing some really good results. We've been making some nice money in um, just stocks like 3M and really um, just moving up beautifully in nice controlled moves. So watch these charts carefully. Um, you could see some great benefits from those. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits in your trading. Thanks so much for being here and thanks for all of the kind words and support uh, for the channel. I truly, truly appreciate it. 20,000 subscribers just around the corner. So thank you very much. Everyone take care. Have an awesome, awesome day. And we'll see you right back here, bright and early Friday morning. Have a good one, everyone.